So, this is a video about improving your handwriting. But I'll be talking a little about how I look at the whole prospect for some time and so you can feel free to jump to the timestamp on screen and get straight to the tips right away. If you didn't skip ahead, fantastic! Let's talk a little about handwriting and its significance. Just like fingerprints, we all possess different handwritings. Even if you write the same phrase in the same language, handwriting is what separates us from the others, right? I get a lot of comments asking about how to improve handwriting along with the praise of how someone liked my handwriting. Although that is really flattering to me, I really took my time to think why were people asking this and how was handwriting steering a tiny part of our lives and what significance does it hold in a world that is gradually drifting away from writing on paper. Apart from vocal communication and ever since scripts are designed, handwritten words have been a crucial mode of communication. Just as an accent separates people speaking the same language, a handwriting separates people writing the same language. Pretty obvious. Recently I found out something called graphology. It's a science of analyzing someone's handwriting and predicting their personality or their emotions at that point of time. It seemed really fascinating to me to think about how much information about ourselves and our emotions we sprinkle into everything we write. Actually one of my friend's mom is pretty proficient in graphology and I got her to analyze my handwriting and she said things like calm and organized and things like that which were after all pretty accurate in my opinion most of the time. I really tried to think about why would anyone want to improve their handwriting and, and I pulled out some of my old notebooks. I initially used to write with disjoint letters but after I changed schools in uh, second standard my new school forced everyone to write in cursive so for the next three years up to fourth standard I only wrote in cursive and got pretty decent at it. Then again in fifth standard I changed schools again and suddenly in the new school there was no restriction related to handwriting but I didn't quit cursive just yet. Over the next 5 years I drifted away slowly from cursive handwriting and I found it easier to keep my handwriting clean with more disjointed letters. Although I never really thought about my handwriting back then, it was constantly evolving. I adopted a new handwriting, even in my native language Bengali, I switched handwritings quite a lot. Well now I can write in different styles consistently and these are basically the previous handwriting styles I had given up on. The big change came in 11th grade. I was getting more active on the internet and exploring different and new things when I stumbled upon bullet journals and the whole bullet journaling community as a whole. More than anything the handwritings in those bullet journals were really cool to look at like really aesthetic and pleasing and whatever those words are. Although I realized soon that a beautiful bullet journal wasn't really my jam. Like I still have the line the time Bujo saved shouldn't be used on the Bujo on my Studygram account which I don't use anymore sad but a part of me still wanted to adopt that kind of beautiful handwriting and i was aware of my ability to acquire new handwritings in a pretty short time and rightfully within two days i was writing with something really close to that instagram bujo handwritings that handwriting evolved through the next two years and i got this kind of handwriting which i write with now but why do we want to improve our handwriting is it just so we can look at our own writing with satisfaction or does it go deeper than that I remember back in school I was always told that you need to have good handwriting to impress the examiner, to get psychological advantage over your peers. While that is completely ethically wrong from an examiner's point of view, but it is true, it is kinda inevitable. Maybe that was the main reason you always wanted to have a better handwriting. I also thought about how doctors are generalized to have bad handwriting or messy handwriting. Most of the authors and poets are kinda the same. And then I thought how come no one is asking them to improve their handwriting. In my mind it's like this, uh, what the doctor is writing is so important that we are okay with overlooking how it looks. So in my mind if what you write is good enough or important enough, people don't care about how it looks. When you have the freedom to do so maybe you can try improving on that and think a bit more about it. I'm just talking about what I think. But one thing is really inevitable that the means of handwriting will soon be digitized and I really expect some people to hold on to the practice of writing on paper. I really hope someone does that. Okay, I've been babbling for quite some time now. I'm sure someone is already commenting, keep your philosophy to yourself, we don't need it. Just tell me how to write beautifully. 
And I agree with you. Let's get on to the tip. Disclaimer that these aren't anything groundbreaking, these are pretty simple. Firstly, if the handwriting you wish to have is way too different from your current handwriting, it's always a good idea to take your time to adopt a new handwriting instead of modifying the old one. The first thing in the process of adopting a new handwriting is to carefully study and write out all the letters in the uppercase and lowercase on a paper, just for reference. After that, for around 2-4 to four days, write everything that you write only in that handwriting for that time. Take it easy, keep it slow, and keep the reference handy for maintaining consistency. It's important that you stay calm over this period, no matter how good your handwriting is, it will get considerably worse if you try to write too fast, at least in the primitive stages of adopting a new handwriting. If sloppy edges and sloppy strokes are mainly your problem, there's a really easy trick to stop this and make your handwriting more consistent. I actually faced the problem of sloppy edges and strokes myself when my dad showed me this trick. It's really trivial now that I think about it. It's as simple as pressing harder onto the paper. And that's it. If you're maintaining constant pressure all the time, suddenly your strokes aren't sloppy anymore. Whereas for improving a handwriting is just as a simple process. It includes just pointing out what parts you want to change. Suppose you want to change your small y to look like this instead of this small y. All you need to do is to be mindful of what you write for the next few days. Whenever you encounter a small y, slow down and carefully write out the small y of your dreams. That's all the tips I could give to be honest. In the last video I made about note taking, somehow people were impressed by my handwriting which led to getting a bunch of comments about it. But to my surprise, way too many people were asking about which pen I use. Too many people think that this pen is the secret to writing well, like, like this comment talks about how all the other pens in the world that exist either leak or are too faint. You see that I see that you see I have to uncover my secret today. My secret is the pen spinning. Well, some people call me out that I copied this legendary trick from Ali Abdal. Well, I'm gonna prove you wrong today. It's all really physics. The centrifugal force that pushes the ink towards the ballpoint. Too much pressure and your pen will bleed. Too less pressure and it will faint respectively. The secret is that you must spin it with an angular velocity of exactly 6.9 second inverse. And you have to use only your four fingers, <laughs> okay. I can't give this up anymore, I hope you understand that part of the joke. There's absolutely nothing special about the pens I use. I write with the pens that I can find. This is really any of those cheapest 5 or 3 rupee pens that you can find in any stationery shops. Some people were asking me to tell its name, which I don't think will help you, but there you go. And I'll let you in on a secret, my pens bleed too. I have to use some really advanced tricks to stop it, to avoid it. These tricks are too hard to learn and are a top secret. Anyways, jokes apart, uh, if you're a J aspirant, I see how things just keep getting harder for J aspirants this year. I got the news that J is postponed once again and here we are waiting to be seniors once again. I don't know, I understand how tough it is to go through times where you have to live through your J period for even a longer time. J period is often looked at as the darkest period of our lives by a lot of students when they get to college and I really don't know what I'll do if I was at your place. But I do have faith in you people. I believe that all this will make you even stronger than we could be at that time. Things will work out one way or the other, just hang in there. And I'd like to thank you for taking your time to listen to me babbling about stuff that wouldn't have any significance in the near future. I'd really like to know your thoughts about this in the comments. and. And in case you have any of your personal tips that you have implemented that has helped in improving your own handwriting, please leave it in the comments to help others out. Leave a like if you liked any part of this, like how can I really like any part of this, but anyways leave a like and subscribe if you want, that is, no pressure. With that said, I'll take my leave and I'll see you soon.